We've seen earlier that when you group by and aggregate a data frame on multiple columns, you get back a new data frame with a multi-index. A multi-index or a hierarchical index is exactly what it sounds like. It's an index that uses multiple values in its keys. In this video, we'll see how multi-indexes can be useful and how to use them. Let's make an example dataset of store product pairs. There's a few ways you can make a multi-index from scratch, but in my opinion, the most intuitive way is to use the pd.multiindex.fromTuples constructor, passing in a list of tuples. We'll do that here. Before we do anything, it's important to understand that our multi-index has two levels. Level 0 is the store level, and level 1 is the product level. We could have more, but in this example, we have two. Now, let's say you just hate multi-indexes, and you don't want to use them. You can use the resetIndex method with inPlace equals true to convert the index levels as columns and go back to using a plain old range index. All right, so that covers our tutorial on multi-indexes. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Now, if you want to revert back to our original data frame with a multi-index, you can use the setIndex method passing in a list of column names to use as the multi-index. Now let's try selecting certain rows from our multi-indexed data frame. If you wanted to pick out the rows with the keys sports dorks golf ball, and Superstore Football, you can use .loc passing in a list of tuples. If you wanted to pick out every row for Sports Dorks, you can use .loc passing in the key Sports Dorks. But what if you wanted to pick out all rows where the product is football? In this case, you can't use .loc, at least not easily. But there is a method called XS, which lets you specify a key like football and tell pandas which level of the index to search on. So for example, we can do store products.xs key equals football, level equals product. And if we wanted to retain both the store and product indexes in the result, we can set the drop level argument equal to false. Now let's take a look at a group by aggregate operation since this is a more common way multi-indexes arise in practice. We'll start by building a data frame with seven rows and four columns. Then we'll set stu equal to df.groupi by equals list ab dot ag, and then we'll take the sum over c and the sum and mean over d. In this case, the row index is a multi-index, and so is the column index. If we wanted to select all columns representing a sum, we could use our handy XS method, but this time we have to specify axis equals 1, so pandas knows to look for the key within the columns of Stu. Also, in this case, the column index levels don't have names, so we'll have to pass in a positional index into the level parameter. In other words, we need to tell pandas to search for the key named sum in the second level of the multi-index, i.e. level 1. We could also do something like pick out columns for D by specifying key equals D and level equals 0. Now let's suppose you wanted to flatten the columns from a multi-index to a regular index. There's a lot of ways you can do this, but perhaps the easiest is to use the toFlat index method. For example, if we call stew.columns.toFlat index, we get back an index of tuples. We could take this a step further and use basic Python string joining and list comprehension to convert those tuples into strings separated by underscores. Setting stew.columns equal to our list of strings flattens the index how we want it. All right, so we've looked at how to use multi-indexes, but we haven't really answered the question, why would you use a multi-index? This is a bit of a sore spot for me because I really care about performance, and you'd expect that a multi-index would provide significantly better performance than storing your data in two or more naive columns of a data frame. 
but from my testing, it really doesn't, at least as of the time I'm making this video. Now, there's still benefits to using a multi-index. The big one is probably self-documenting data. When you have a data frame with a multi-index, right away you know something important about the structure of that data. Also, multi-indexes play nicely with some other functions like stack and unstack, which we'll see in a future video. But for the most part, the benefits of using a multi-index are mostly superficial, at least for now, and I think that's a real missed opportunity for pandas.